Finally! Freaking video running. Hot, sweaty, late May night here, Southeast Texas. And jacking around with this uh, camera trying to figure out what buttons do what. I think I took two snapshots before I ever got the video going. But it looks like the video is running out. This right here, Evan Williams of Bourbon and uh, Colt 7 Up. I drank uh, three uh, Sam's Daily from uh, Buffalo Bay Brewery and uh, three uh, Conspiracy IPAs from um, Southern Star before I worked up my nerve to drink whiskey. Anyhow, uh, Friday night before Memorial Day, it is May 25th, boom, 2018, and uh, we're just working on the weekend, I guess, uh, going through a lot of Facebook and crap like that. Kind of a cool soundtrack too. Hopefully it's coming over uh, with my voice. Randy Rhodes, hero, yes. Anyhow, you bass bandits. <sighs> I haven't been fishing much at all kind of sad, but I'm trying to get some stuff done here. Got all these projects all piled up around here. Things are starting to rot to the ground, so I got to get on them. Got a Mitsubishi sedan to fix up. Uh, I've got a uh, mid-2000s uh, Ford van to uh, clean up and sell. I've got uh, an 80s Kingfisher bass boat, uh, less the motor and bunch of shit, but it's got a, a trailer that I got to do some repair on, <laughs> so it'll roll down the road without the wheels falling off. Anyhow, got a lot of stuff to do, so that's what's going on, and that's why I'm making a video, because I want to start doing a videography of all the projects that I'm doing, so... Brace yourselves. Guess what? It's going to get real now. God. Hot and sweaty. Humidity's real up. Got pretty hot today around 90. Humidity was around 50. Temps went down. Humidity's got to be up around 75 or 80% right now. And I got a burn pile going down on the back half of the property. Which, every time I go down and get near that fire... It just makes me sweat like crazy. I got a, I got a shirt over there trying to dry out. Completely soaked the thing uh, when I started that fire back whenever I started the fire back two, three hours ago. Anyhow, uh, what's got to get done here? Well, there's some stuff that's got to get done. Let's see here. Uh, push a button. Uh, that motor right there. Uh, get that running and uh, finish reworking the lower unit. Get it stuck on the 93 Stratus 18 foot uh, 274 uh, FV or VF, whatever the hell it is. Overgrown Jet is what it is. Um, what you can't see hidden underneath the uh, stuff underneath the bench there is an 85 horse uh, Thunderbolt 850 Merc that uh, got to get running. I think I'm going to stick that on the tin boat I got outside. Anyhow, uh, yeah, got to get a lot of stuff out of here so I can do some work. And uh, a lot of stuff outside that I got to get done so that... I can hopefully get back on the water for the uh, uh, BASS Nation Trail. 
and uh, run half a dozen tournaments next year. One nice thing is I'm saving money not having to go out and do these tournaments. I'm thinking about uh, grabbing up a, uh, uh, a straight back camper shell for the F-250 and uh, putting an air conditioning unit on it and making it so that I don't have to pay uh, whatever it is, uh, uh, you know, 70 bucks a night for, for lodging or, you know, even have to deal with lodging with other people because other people kind of hate me. I snore quite a bit. And uh, anyhow, uh, we'll see how that goes. Try to get a little bit more grassroots in what's going on. Um, let's see, what do I got going on here? I've got this workstation that I built to the wall. Uh, step back a little bit. 18 inches off the wall. Uh, more or less floor to ceiling. Got some room underneath there that uh, I left so I can shove the jack underneath there. A few other things. Um, gonna rearrange this whole thing. I just started shoving stuff into it a little while back and left it sit. Um, a lot of the stuff that's in here is gonna go other places and uh, get it a lot more organized inside here this uh, table that I'm shaking right now I uh, need to reinforce uh, built that out of particle board the whole thing is built out of particle board and uh, all reinforced with uh, one by something and two by something and uh, uh, sealed and painted all to hell so it's going to last for a good long time for being cheap particle board but this table is starting to crack so I got to reinforce the uh, sides of it where the hinges tie in because there's some cracks starting to show uh, around the, the the folding hinge area. So I'll deal with that. Ain't no biggie. Uh, I'm thinking three feet of uh, three quarter inch um, steel angle and prime it, paint it, drill it, stick it in place, uh, hold it way better than it needs to be held. That'll be the cheapest. Maybe spend a few more bucks and uh, strap some uh, aluminum on it. All I need is something to keep it from the 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 this 18-inch wide desk from doing a, a hinging aspect like that, which is what it's trying to start to do because I get tired and lean on it like this, and it's only being supported by those. mechanical hinge right there anyhow uh, the rest of what's going on here uh, the dogs there's a dog let me hit a button so I can see the dog there's a dog yeah that's Eva she's uh, the the little big girl um, the the younger dog but about 90 pounds um, most lovable dog follows me around like a puppy uh, love her to death um, her older sister a little gray in the muzzle but um, she's real good kinda got high anxiety but you know it is what it is um, what, do I, what else do I got going on here oh uh, finally collected a little bit of money that was owed Woo! look at that hundred dollar bills people yeah hundred dollar bills are good not enough of them. Only $800 bills and four $1 bills. But it's better than not having any $100 bills at all. So that's probably got to go into the bank because I got other stuff that I got to buy. I'm looking to buy Sea uh, Star hydraulic steering for um, the boat out back or on the side. On the side out back. It's kind of on the side and out back. Um, what else? Got a jack plate here somewhere. Mm, not sure where it is right now. Got a brand new old stock uh, Vance 6 inch mechanical or manual jack plate 
stashed around here somewhere. It's going to go on there to mount that 150 on. Um, the anti-feedback on the um, rack and pinion on that uh, uh, Stratus 274 is about shot. Last several times that I drove that thing, it uh, it just pulled hard right. I mean, it just wore you out keeping the thing from whipping a right hand turn. And I figure uh, I already put 250 bucks into uh, mechanical steering cables on the thing. Before I blow any more money on that, probably another couple 300 bucks on the helm unit. Um, just get the uh, hydraulic, which I'm gonna need to be able to mount the motor on that jack plate because of the hole that they have on the back of the boat. It will not facilitate a motor on a jack plate. Piss poor engineering on their part, but uh, I really don't feel like cutting another hole in that uh, top cap on the ass end of that boat. Uh, for one, uh, whoever worked on the boat last uh, glassed in the cap to the hull at the stern, at the transom. Why, I don't know. Maybe they were trying to get more strength. No idea. But, uh, yeah, I'd need to uh, spend two or three days up underneath the uh, that thing yanking the gas tank and everything out of the ass end of that boat, cutting through fiberglass to try to get the top cap off that boat don't see it being worthwhile because it's a 93 boat the hole's pretty gouged up and scratched I can fix that you know in a day or two some marine techs and uh, you know spraying it over it with some marine enamels and stuff like that but uh, uh, yeah not gonna spend a lot of money on it uh, my buddy Eddie Dillo uh, turned me on to an ad for a guy that was selling a some year 2001 uh, uh, Stratus 201 with a uh, 200 on it for 2200 bucks. Um, I'm just going to, it, it's like that's the kind of thing that I would rather put money into and get it functioning better and maybe even get it recertified and drop a, a 250 on it. 225 uh, should take that boat to. Uh, low to mid 70s anyhow so I'm not gonna put a ton into this boat here I just want to get it running so it'll keep fish alive and uh, fish my own spots this next season because um, I just want to be able to fish my own spots I've fished on the back end of other boats for three four five years and uh, uh, I just think that I could do better fishing my own spots. If I don't, then it's my own damn fault. That way I'm not bitching at the people that I'm fishing with. And I'd just soon do that. I'd just soon bitch at myself instead of bitching at whoever I was out with. Keeps things friendlier that way. Mm, damn, that's good. Evan Williams. 7-Up. Can't go wrong there. Oh, something kind of new. Uh, got this not too long back. Um, uh, atomic Beam or something like that. The actual name on the thing is uh, something buddy, something bud. Okay, there's Atomic Beam there. And then bulbhead.com anyhow uh, it takes three triple A's uh, I'm actually gonna buy the uh, the C123 or whatever it is battery but uh, this thing uh, you probably see in that there's a strobe there's SOS there's the high beam <coughs> and the low beam you can adjust them all <coughs> in and out. And uh, I just put new batteries in this. The batteries I had running in this thing for ever since I got it, which actually it's not that new, but it's fairly new. Uh, let me 
get it dialed in here. Okay. Anyhow, um, pretty awesome little flashlight. Nah, I think it was 20 bucks or something like that. Runs on AAAs or one of those, uh, like I said, I think it's like a C123 or something. Uh, gonna pick up a rechargeable NICAD, ooh, which I'm gonna look at on the inter interweb here. Well, where's the eBay? Um, anyhow, gonna grab up one of those or maybe two of those with a charger and because uh, uh, the AAAs I've got a lot of other uses around the house for and I've got eight AAAs floating around here and eight uh, AA's floating around here that are all uh, NICAD that I charge in my mm, whatever the high-end charger that I bought a couple years back or a few years back or maybe many years back now but it's a good charger um, Mm, trying to think of uh, uh, the name Maha Maha Power. They were like the hottest stuff in rechargeable rechargeable stuff uh, back maybe five years ago or something like that. Anyhow, um, that's what uh, I'm charging stuff in. The charger works awesome, but I need my triple A's for something else. So, gonna go ahead and look into. some eBay uh, let's see uh, uh, do I maybe probably have a reference in one of my text files about what battery that actually is uh, let's see looking through some text files no that's just money stuff there um, that's some miscellaneous stuff. Mm, that's camera stuff. Okay, that's stuff that I copied from uh, one of the guys that I like their YouTube presentation. Uh, some of these guys got many thousands of dollars invested in cameras and microphones and shit like that. I'm looking at doing all my YouTube stuff with uh, whatever I got around, like this SJ Cam, uh, my uh, Galaxy S5, maybe buying, um, I've got an integral uh, camera and microphone on this uh, uh, Dell Latitude 5530, E5530, I have yet to get the microphone working on this thing. So, um, looking on getting some microphone that's going to do its job. I don't need anything super fancy. Not unless I start getting some serious hits on a channel. And it makes sense. It's got to make sense to spend money. And, damn, I can't find reference to anything on that freaking battery. Uh, where else would it be? Um, you know, maybe there's reference inside of this doggone thing. Anyhow, that's about the size of the battery that's going to go in there. Um, not finding anything on that. <sighs> but, uh, everything's nicely machined. Well built. Don't know where it's built, but, uh, got a square LED in there. Which, instead of the little tiny bulbs, this thing should last pretty damn good a long time. I'm guessing in general, I hear 30 to 100,000 hours on one of those things. Who knows? But uh, it'll take me a while to wear through all that. 
Uh, let's see, I guess maybe uh, minimize that, add up another thing. Atomic beam battery. Atomic beam heavy duty batteries, 12 pack. Chargeable. Battery. <sighs> I want to say it's a 123, but okay, 3.7 volt. That sounds about right. 20 bucks with a charger. Uh, some details. I want some. Oh, come on. Um, powerful lithium battery, 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 boost headlamp output beyond the usual 5,000 lux from 3 alkaline. I'm running 3 lithiums right now. Um, let's see, here's uh, Ultrafire 4 piece. Uh, for 1039, what style of battery are they? I want to find out another three and three quarter to four volt batteries. Battery size 26650. There's like a CR 123 or a CR some shit. Let me take this 26650 um, and paste battery size. BU301. People also ask, what is a 26650 battery powerful blah 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 Let's see if battery junction has another name for these things uh, you know, 26650 seems to be I could have swore there was like a CR 123 probably for something else I need to buy Anyhow, maybe I can get uh, like a 5 amp rechargeable 26650 uh, and re battery and recharger. Uh, two batteries and double recharger 13 bucks free shipping low recursive operation short circuit and over current protection blah 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 uh, anyhow that's a good part of what's going on here oh I found a comb feel like I need any real combing except for making things maybe possibly straight. Don't have any birds making nests up inside my face. Or bugs. Nope, no bugs.
bottom line, there's a lot that has to get done around here. And, uh, well, damn it, just got to get it done. So, I think I'm going to close now and say, <coughs> cough up a lung and get her done. Be good, people.